guys, uh, really quickly, um, last but not least, because this is my fourth video today. Um, okay, so people are on my case, and they're like, oh, what you, go, you know, what's your problem with people that smoke weed and blah, blah, blah. Okay, again, like, I'm so tired of hearing this. Um, I think what it is, is that I fall in love with people, right? You, like the person that you are, you. And then you decide to take a drug that changes who you are completely. You are a completely different person. The way you perceive information, the things you find funny, the way that you talk. And all of a sudden, I have to hang out with someone that is not my friend. Like, you're my friend, and you, you guys are going to argue with me, because then you, all you've been doing is arguing with me. Um, and it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And it's like, yeah, sometimes you're chill. Yeah, you could be chill. But, like, I have experience that you guys don't have. And I've seen the progression from when people start smoking when they're 13 or 15 or 18 or 21 all the way until they're 35 and older. And um, it's never a positive thing. You know, it's a problem if you need to smoke to escape your life. It's a problem if you need to smoke because you don't like who you are, but you like who you are when you're high and when you're on weed. You should be able to figure out how to create a life that you're happy with. But instead, you take that precious time that you could be developing yourself and making yourself into a more productive person, which people are going to argue about me. No, I'm better when I'm on weed. Oh, no, you know, like, like that chick. I'm bipolar or I'm depressed and I smoke weed and it makes me better as a short-term solution to a long-term problem okay um, and it's only going to get worse because the, the chemical imbalances that you have are still there but if you make the effort to change the way that you f perceive things and the way that you feel about things and the way that that you react to things you can make those changes permanent and you won't need the drugs now, yes, there are some people that do need some type of drugs, or so they say. You know, I'm, you know, well, I'm not getting into a discussion because I'm not a professional, but I work with them all the time. Um, but the problem that I have is that I fall in love with people. I love people. I love them. All of them. And then they choose, and I still love them, to be someone else. Um through the drug and it breaks my heart because it's like why aren't you happy like why do you need the drug yeah you could stop whenever you want but why haven't you then you know and it does affect your brain I don't care what you guys say it affects your brain it affects your coping ability it affects the way you react to things it affects how quickly your brain reacts um, most people that smoke weed are angry when they're not on weed you know, you could argue with me on that, but just watch and observe over the years and you'll see. Um, they're more irritable. You know, they'll, they'll be like, well, yeah, that's why I smoke weed. I'm like, no, well, you need to fix that on your own. You need to learn how to do that on your own. And it'll be a process and it's not easy. You know, it's not easy for anybody. People that are happy choose to be happy. People that are perky choose to be perky. You know what I mean? And some of us, yeah, we had great lives growing up, you know. Um, but still, some people had great lives and they're still perpetually depressed and you know, suicidal and whatever. It's like, you know, they're choices that you make. So the problem that I have is the way that it makes you act as you get older. Um, it's difficult in relationships because you don't know who you're getting. Are you high? Are you not high? Which person are you today? Are you chill because you smoked? You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, let's just get through it together. You know? Let's get through it together. Let's figure it out together. Like, you don't need to smoke. You know, like if you don't enjoy the company of the people that you're with, unless you're high, you're hanging out with the wrong people. And I know that weed brings a lot of people together and it's like, oh, you smoke? Yeah, let me get, let me get a hit. And a lot of people are going to argue with me. And I'm not talking to you guys that are the casual smokers. You want to smoke and get high? I, I drink. I got drunk, you know. I'm not sitting here and I'm all innocent. Like, no. But I don't drink every day. And I don't get drunk every day. Maybe like I'll drink once or twice a month now. You know, it was a lot more in my 20s, you know. But um, now it's kind of like every now and then because I love who I am now. I don't need anything. I'm very happy without drugs and alcohol. 
alcohol like I don't need any of this stuff I don't need to try it I don't need to experiment with it like and, and I get it some people do and, and I I uh, I support you in whatever it is that you decide you want to do but when it gets excessive I will be the first person to tell you from what I see and if you want to listen to me fine if you don't whatever I don't care but at least when you recognize that it's a problem You'll be like, you know who the first person that told me was? It was Myra. You know who the first person that's, you know, that, that made me realize that maybe there was a problem? It was Myra. Because when everybody else is urging, you know, egging you on, and everybody else is giving you weed, and everybody else is giving you drugs, and everybody else is getting you drunk and doing all that stuff, I was the one that was telling you, cool, have fun. But now it's getting excessive. Now you need to start having a monitor, and you need to check yourself out and be like, okay, I've been drinking like eight days in a row, like I'm binging now. You know what I mean? Like, it's a problem. And if you don't see it's a problem, then it's a bigger problem than you think. So, that's my problem with weed. It's like, I fall in love with you and I want you to be the person I fall in love with. And yeah, everybody has different parts of their personality. You know what I mean? And I'm not perfect either. You know, like, there's days where it's just like, what the fuck, who are you? You know, excuse my language. You know, but those are just days. It's not like a lifestyle of... I'm going to smoke and be high because I don't like who I am, but I like who I am when I smoke better. That's a problem. And if you guys don't see and understand that, then yeah, I'm not going to keep going into it because I've already been talking for six minutes. So I'm just going to leave it at that, you know. Um, and that's just an answer to somebody's comment that I'm replying to. So um, just wanted to throw that out there. You know, it is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and if you're running away from who you are, um, and you're smoking, drinking, doing drugs, or anything to alter your personality, that is a problem.